If you advertise online, some recent data suggests that 50%, 5-0% of ad spend is wasted. Let's say that you spend $10,000 a month in Google Ads. What could you do with an extra 5K in your pocket? One best practice that is super simple to implement but some people get wrong is only showing your ads to customers in your particular area. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that inside of Google Ads. And if you're an experienced advertiser, make sure to stick around to the end because you could be doing it wrong and it might be costing you thousands of dollars. We haven't met yet. My name is Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach and I've been in digital marketing for over 12 years. My channel exists to help you make more and spend less and show you that you can manage your own digital marketing without hiring an agency. Make sure to grab my seven day online marketing jumpstart doc if you want to see better results for your business this year. All right, so let's hop right in to the Google Ads interface. So I just selected create campaign inside of Google Ads and I'm going to breeze through this campaign setup process. If you're looking for the best practices for how you should set up a Google Ads campaign, make sure to watch some of the other videos on my channel. I've got dozens uh, targeting Google Ads. Um, and so right now what I'm gonna do is input my website URL, which is scottredgate.com. And then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna name this campaign. So I'm gonna name it search campaign test. Then I'm gonna hit continue. And we're doing this so that we can get to the location targeting options inside of the campaign. So here it gives me the option to select search or display network with the campaign. I'm gonna leave it on the search network. And here it is. Here is the location settings inside of this Google Ads campaign. You can hover your mouse over to get some more information about what you can do. And you can see there's some preset locations here, United States and Canada, US, or enter another location. And that is exactly what we are going to select. So once you select enter another location, you can type in a zip code, you can type in your county, your, your town, whatever, and then you'll see if there is a match inside of Google Ads. So I live in Charlottesville, so I just selected Charlottesville and I wanna see how it appears on the map. So I click the advanced option and you can scroll out to see the region that you're targeting. And what's cool with Google Ads is you can target multiple areas uh, inside of the same campaign. So I can type in Waynesboro, which is a nearby town. I can see the reach for that particular area. And so there's Waynesboro, I'm targeting it, and Charlottesville. And something else that you can do inside of Google Ads is you can do radius targeting, where you can enter a particular location and then you can select how many miles around that location you would like to target. So I'm doing the same thing for Charlottesville, but I'm doing radius targeting. And so you can see here's the circle, the 10 mile radius around Charlottesville. And then I'm gonna target another town, Crozet, which is next to it. And then you can see the overlap for those two circles. Um, so you can do that. And then you can also go in and add exclusions inside of your Google Ads campaign location targeting. So. Right now I just removed Crozet and added Charlottesville as the city. And now I'm going to exclude Crozet as the town. So if you are targeting a particular location and you wanna exclude a small area inside of that location, you have the ability to do that inside of Google Ads, which makes it really, really nice and really easy to do. So after you do that, um, this is the part that a lot of people get wrong and this is the location option. So presence or interest, presence or search interest. So presence or interest targeting is people in regularly in who are, or have shown interest in your location, whereas presence is people in or regularly in your targeted location. If you are, uh, if you provide a local service and you wanna target essentially people that live in that area, make sure you select presence. If you select presence or interest, you might target people who have um, shown interest in that area. Maybe they're, they're visiting or they're planning a vacation or they're just driving through town. And so if you wanna get your best bang for your buck, in most cases, you're gonna to wanna to select presence, which is people in or regularly in the targeted location. And I see a lot of accounts get that wrong and then they get clicks from other regions and they're left scratching their head thinking, why did this happen? Well, this is why it happened. You were targeting presence or interest instead of presence. 
I hope that little tutorial was helpful for you. And if you're looking for more money saving marketing tips, visit scottredgate.com. And it, it would mean so much to me if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel to give me a little momentum in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.